Welcome to Real Truth Real Quick. My name is Rick Smith, the Director of Digital Ministries at Watermark Church in Dallas, Texas. I'm here with our pastor, Todd Wagner. How you yes, doing, Todd? I am doing well. Thank you, Rick. Hello, well, Real Truth Real Quick fans. Hello. Well, uh, so March 21st, 321 is World Down Syndrome Day, and so we wanted to answer a question uh, that really speaks to that topic, and so we got a really uh, great question today, and the question goes like this. Is it okay to abort my child if prenatal testing reveals he may be born with special needs? Well, this is a relevant question, not just because of 321 and questions that folks might have who actually take that test. We get that question from everybody all the time, which is should I even take a prenatal test to determine if there's a reason? And I'm like, a reason what? And that is a reason to abort my, I go, a reason to abort your what? And so I love the way this question is phrased. Because the question answers itself, I think, for any reasonable person. Once you make the assumption that what you're aborting is a child, doesn't that answer your question? I think so. Okay, yeah, because, and that's why, again, language is so important, okay? And we just took this question as it came in, okay? The question was, should or is it okay to abort my child, okay? That is called terminate the life of my child. Because it's in the womb, we call it abortion. If it was outside the womb, it would be, is it okay to murder my child if they develop a disease later in their life that makes it difficult for me or difficult for them? And thankfully, we still live in a society. And I say it that way because we're moving very quickly to conversations with people. And, and some people are frankly a lot more intellectually honest in this conversation than others. Some people are going to say, no, we really should have a utilitarian evaluation of every human life. And if their life isn't valuable then we should terminate it. In the womb, out of the womb, it doesn't matter, okay? And, and what the problem with that is, is we start to go, well, valuable to who? And the reason we got in this entire conversation in the first place is because we made a decision early on to not let God be the one that determines value. And so once we determine that there's something other than God that determines value, then the ethic and the morality takes a nosedive. And so I don't know, Rick, what I would just simply say is this, is it okay to abort my child? No! It is not okay to terminate the life of a child. And especially if you start to go, well, what if their life isn't going to be valuable in the sense that they don't have um, utility to offer or they're going to suffer because they're not going to get to do what all the other little boys and girls do? Well, where does that stop? Is it just Down syndrome babies? Is it spinal bifida? Is it uh, children that are born like Nick Vujicic without arms and legs? Is it uh, kids who have a reading problem? I mean, where's, it, where's the line? Brown and, hair. And once... Once you leave an objective standard, which is that child is valuable because it's made in the image of God. And by the way, every child that is born is already a flawed child. It's part of being human, that you are not the child that God intended, okay, because uh, of sin and its effects. Now, sometimes we see the effects of living in a fallen world more in other lives than some, or maybe lives that were doing well for a while, and then the effects of sin kick in. But at the end of the day, anytime you start to say, we're going to make a decision that that life isn't valuable anymore because of what it is going to go through or what I'm going to have to go through to care for it, that it, that it is the image of God. Okay? And so there's my answer. Right when you start with that, is it okay to abort my child? <laughs> If you assume, that is the question that you always have to answer. I need to say this very quickly because there's something we want to do today. And I would just simply say this. Once you make the decision that is a precious unborn human person, every other question becomes irrelevant. Rape, incest, it all becomes irrelevant. And so we don't execute kids because of the sins of their parents. And we shouldn't do it in the womb or we shouldn't do it out of the womb. And so uh, that is based on a biblical worldview that all men are created in the image of God. Even this little one. Let's bring on this little special guest that we've got right here. Hey, buddy. This is the topic that is rather hey. um, important to hey. you, isn't it? Yeah. So this is Noah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, Noah is three years old, and we found out uh, by surprise three hours after his birth that he mm -hmm. was born with Down syndrome. And, um, you know, something mm -hmm. that I didn't uh, know ahead of time was that, you know, that children like Noah aren't suffering. You know, you see mm -hmm. Noah... And um, God, but even if he was, even if he was suffering, because yeah. we want to talk about, we're going to talk about this in a minute. I, what I want to do is make sure if we stick close, we got 30 seconds. Yeah. What I want to tell everybody here is if you want to know more about this issue of Down syndrome specifically, you need to go to noahsdad.com where every day you do what? Uh, almost every day we write and we share stories of his life to really show the world, hey, mm -hmm. what a celebration of life. Our son is, even in his unique differences, and, and he likes Noah. He likes to give, uh, he likes like to talk, Noah. give hugs. I like Noah. 
Hey, and I like Rick, and I love his blog, Noah's Dad. And so if you want to know more about Down syndrome, it is the definitive website on that topic. And I will tell you, here's what you need to understand. Unless God's word is the definitive topic on how you value human life, then that question gets real nasty in and out of the womb. Is it okay to eliminate any life just because it's a problem to us or we don't think their life matters enough? When we move this outside the objective standard of God's word, we're all in trouble. That's some real truth real quick. Yeah, and again, like Todd said, if you're out there and you have gotten a prenatal diagnosis of Down syndrome or anything else, man, I encourage you to check out blogs like noahsdad.com and all the other truth out there that is showing you, hey, what life is and what is inside your womb yeah. there developing. And I encourage you, if you're asked, do you want that test, even say, why do you want me to have the test? And honestly, the reason is because you may want to terminate the child if the test turns up a certain way, then you need to let them know, hey, I don't determine whether or not that life is valuable. God does. It's my job to love that child. There we go. We're a little over the other day. It's worth it. You say bye-bye. Thanks for joining us. Bye-bye. See ya.